Que la team de ministre. Fais quoi 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 Fais I don't want you to say that right now because I want you to hear from the one who knows. I want you to hear, be able to hear right now from the one who knows what you need to know. I need you to be quiet right now so you can hear from the one that, 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 that can change, change what I need, change, but, but, but I cannot get, I cannot feel him changing it because before I hear him change it, I got to feel it. But I was, I'm so concerned about feeling the things of, of, of the world and, that, and my feelings concerning, pertaining to people to I can't feel the move of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The one, the one who knows. The one who knows. The one who knows. Then Jesus entered the temple and began to drive out the people selling animals for sacrifices. He said to them, the scripture declares my temple will be a house of prayer, but you have turned it into a den of thieves. After that, he taught daily in the temple. But the leading priests and teachers of religious law and the other leaders of the people began planning how to kill him. But they could think of nothing because all the people hung on is every word. They couldn't think of nothing because you weren't telling God's plan. They couldn't think of nothing. We're so busy talking till we, we, we tell the enemy what God is. <coughs> you may be seated. You so big, we're so busy talking to, to, to attend the enemy when God is blessed. All I got to do is run over to the spirit of Jesus and Bishop Robinson going to tell God's plan because he want to be seen. That, 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 that he wants the world to know that he's heard from God. But sometimes when God talks to you, he tell you, don't you say a very word. Don't you tell nobody. Tell you to shut up. Come on, man. Alert. You're too busy. You can't get out of your own way because you're told them which way you're going. And God told you not to tell them. You can't get out of your own way because you're so busy wanting to be seen. Do you tell them which way you're going? And the wolf standing at the at the Not, not shut it down, shut it up. Come on, son. Hey. Sometimes it's not just to shut it down. I'm so busy trying to avoid it and shut it down, mother. To, to he, he said, you can shut it down all day long because you already told me which way you're going. You already told me the plan that God has for you. Lord, have mercy. Come on, Come on, now. He might not can stop it, but he sure can get in the way. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. Jesus. And then you got to understand this thing. About when Jesus entered the temple, we, we read the Luke for your reference, Luke 19, 45 through 48. I won't be before you long because it's hard to preach behind what the woman of God just did. But I'm gonna do the best with the Lord's help. It says, Then Jesus entered the temple and he began to drive out the people selling animals for sacrifices. My God. He began to drive out the people. You gotta understand. When Jesus is handling his father's business, I'm going to look this way. He don't need your help. Come on, Come on now. now. When he's handling his father's business, he didn't call on the disciples. He didn't tell them to say, hey, go in and get rid of them people. When he handled his father's business, you leave it alone. Yes, you get out of the way. Yes. He don't need your help. Yes, sir. Here we are. Here we are. We are. We are. Christians, we want to prove.
prove that we are Christ like by stepping in an arena that we got no business in. Let me tell you something. You run in there trying to deliver somebody. You run in there trying to do what Jesus was called to do. You're going to pick up something you can't handle. My God. My Lord. You're going to run in there trying to do what only Jesus was called to do, and you're going to pick up something you can't get rid of. Teach. Oh my God. Don't be so bad on you. Gonna be you. you say, you know what? AIDS will be better than this. I'm trying to tell you. You're going to pick up something. Trying to do what only God called Jesus to do. Come on. Amen. You are not Jesus. Amen. Any power that I have, I have been given as a right now assignment by God. And he might not give me that power no more as long as I live. If he do, thank God. If he don't, yet yeah, I thank God for the one time. Come on. Amen. But once we step into the arena and God use us, in a, in a way that we've never been used, all of a sudden now we want to become a specialist. Oh, my God. Uh -oh. All of a sudden we want to become a specialist. Uh -oh. And you do you, you really understand what a specialist does when he's not when he when he is specializing in something he's not specialized to do? He's you specializing in something you ain't specialized to do. Oh, it's saying Jesus entered the temple. And he began to drive out the people selling animals for sacrifices. Selling animals for sacrifice. Selling animals for medicine. For sacrifice. And here we go. Come here. Here she is. She says, I got a pretty one right here. Yeah. I know that uh, if you give me enough for her, I'll be able to pay tithes at your church. <laughs> this is what I got for sale today. Anybody buy it? Oh, by the way, uh, just in case you need something better look at, I'm going to go to this inn. I got something right here. It's for sale. It even dances and sings. I want to tell you right now, just in case uh, you want a couple of, I got two for the price of one. one. Try and rearrange it. If God 
changed something in my life. He is the one who knows what's best for me. Amen. Come on, Bishop. So when he when he when he takes somebody out of my life, stop snotting and, and stop snotting <laughs> and her and go. <laughs> you know what? She thinks she's leaving, but she don't, you can't even see. Jesus dragging her all out of him. Amen. Ooh. Hallelujah. He thinks he's leaving, but you don't even know Jesus dragging the red all out of him. Amen. If they're leaving you in pain, my God. if they're leaving you in pain, that means you are suffering. And when you're suffering, you ain't supposed to be crying. You're supposed to be growing. You better hear the word of God. Right. If they're leaving you in pain, you ain't supposed to be crying. You are supposed to be growing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Y'all go sit down with y'all. Put y'all right here, guys. Oh. Then Jesus entered the temple uh -huh. and began to drive out the people selling animals for sacrifice. My animal, he sold the animals for sacrifice. Mm. Sold the animals for sacrifice. Read what was up. He said to them, he said to them the, scriptures declare, the scriptures declare, my temple will be a house of prayer. Whoa, what was that temple? Anybody know what the name of that temple was? Anybody really? Do you know what the temple in Jerusalem was called? Give your history that's what It was called Solomon's. Why was it called Solomon's temple? He built it. God, but in him building it, God told him how to build it. Watch this. God gave him the ingredients to build it. He gave, the, he gave him the dynamics and the measurements to build it by. But what happened to Solomon? Once God built a Solomon, built a temple, Solomon didn't know what to, know what to do with himself. Solomon did not know what to do with doing himself, so, so he fell off the wagon. <laughs> but I'm not concerned about Solomon. I'm concerned about you letting God do what he want to do. He done, he, done, he done dragged what was keeping his son out of your temple. He done dragged it out your life. Three, one of God. But you have turned it into a den of thieves. You have turned. You know you ain't no good. <laughs> you know it. We talked about that integrity yesterday. Yes, sir. And that honesty. Yes, sir. I see a lot of y'all. Y'all took it in because you're here tonight. Amen. Amen. You, you Amen. got some spiritual integrity going on. We had a Monday night like this, Monday night like this in a minute. Amen. You're here tonight. You're, you're honest about you know what? Yeah, I, mean, I, I know. Uh, yeah, I know. That's all you got to say. Amen. I know. What do I know? I know he knows now. Yes. Amen. Amen. I know now that he knows. Yes. The word yesterday made me see who was really watching me. Come on, somebody. Y'all get what I'm trying to tell you? The word made me see who was really watching me. So I say I cannot call Bishop. Because I know who really knows what I'm doing. And so he came and he drove out all the things in the temple. Why did he drive the, 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 the animal sellers out of the temple? Free woman of God. After that, he taught daily oh, in the temple. First of all, he drove them out because he said, this temple is supposed to be a house of prayer. Uh -huh. I'm supposed to, I ain't got bit, no business selling anything, especially this temple. Because I'm supposed to be in a mode of praying without ceasing. Talk to me. But it when I but when he drove them out, watch what he did. What he did, woman of God? He taught daily. In he the taught where? Daily. Where? In the temple. In what? In the temple. How often? Daily. Huh? Daily. No, just on Sunday. Daily. Just on Monday. Daily. Just on Thursday. Daily. Oh my God, y'all didn't say that. Come on, we go. Mercy. He taught. <laughs> he ran them out of the temple. I'm gonna show you this stuff. Talk to me, Christian. <laughs> the name is Carter Christian, y'all. That's my that's my little preacher back there. I know what I'm saying. But but listen now. He ran them out of the temple and he began to teach daily. He began to make the temple look like it was. Come on, Holy Ghost. Come on, Holy Ghost. He began to make the temple look like it was supposed to look. By him teaching in it daily. He, he began, once he, I can't do nothing. I'll come in and teach because my father ain't coming with me with all this foolishness going on. 
He's not in the midst of confusion. I got to set an atmosphere that is that is receptive to the presence of God. Amen. In my house, I got to set an atmosphere that is receptive to the presence of God. In this temple right here, I got to set an atmosphere that is receptive to the presence of God. Y'all know why y'all like, like coming to the Spirit of Jesus? Because God has taught me before I got there how to set the atmosphere. Y'all hear me? Amen. That says God is here. You better hear the word of God. He has taught me how to set the atmosphere. Because what? When he draw those things out, he draw them out. Y'all got to rock this. On a need to know. Thanks. Come on, somebody. Holy Ghost. He drove them out. Ha! So y'all thought he was going to come in your house and just drive them out instantly like he did that. No. He drives them out on a need to know basis. How do I know? Because he said patience is a virtue. Yes, sir. Amen. Meaning patience is power. Amen. The one who knows where I'm at, the one who knows where I'm going, you might have plans for tomorrow. But you can't guarantee your plans. But I want to tell you something. Whatever your tomorrow holds, there, there's one who can guarantee what's going to happen in your tomorrow. Yes. That's right. And it ain't your mom. Come on, somebody. Come on it ain't your mission. Yes, sir. You better get ready, get with the one who knows. Come on, somebody. The one who knows. Come on, somebody. Amen. Read one of God. But the leading priests, the teachers of religious law, and the other leaders of the people began planning how to kill them. Oh my God. Why are y'all scared of plans? Y'all running around here scared of what people are planning to do to you. You're scared of what it looked like they might do to you. Don't you know if you still living, all the plans of the devil ain't worked up to now? Why you think they gonna start working now? To make you change your plans. You better hear the word of God. They were only plans to get up in your head to make you change the plan that God has set for you. Yes, come on, come on, come on, Bishop. Come on, Bishop. Yes. Yes. Holy Ghost. Say that again. But the leaders, the leading priests, the teachers of religious law, yeah. and the other leaders of the people yeah. began planning, planning how to kill him. Planning how to make you change your plan. <laughs> That's something. You don't even see the devil. But you just, he just set a, a plan your way to, to take you out. A plan your way to say you ain't going to never come out. A plan your way to say you ain't going to never make it. And because of that, I better go to a rehab. I better go to some counseling. I be, you change your plan because of the devil's plan. Instead of walking in the assurance of what you know God has told you. No weapon on the get you shall be able to prosper. That's the plan you need to grab hold of. That's the plan you need to grab hold of. Don't you change your plans. Come on, holy go. Bring one of God. But they could weapon. think of nothing. Oh my God. They could think of nothing that would move you. They could think of nothing that could kill you. Read one of God. Because all the people hung on every word he said. Oh my God. <coughs> woman of God just told me. How can God let somebody kill you when the when the laborers are already so few? How can God let somebody kill you when the laborers are already so few. The labor, the, the harvest is plenty, but the labors are. What are you worried about? You keep laboring for the Lord. And in laboring for the Lord, you don't change your plan because circumstances came, and the only reason the circumstances came to make it look like something was gonna happen so you could stop laboring. Come on, somebody, for the Lord. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. See. When I come to church, whether I preach or not, I bring the presence of God with me, so I'm laboring for Him. Amen. When you come to church, whether you say something or not, 
You're bringing the presence of God that makes the makes the, the whole, y'all gotta understand, every time we come in here, it is a spiritual experience like we've never experienced before. And it's a spiritual experience that you will never experience again. Yes. Yes. Amen. Man. Man. I cannot, dare not, miss a, a, something that I love that I might, that I know I can never get back. You know the most painful thing in the world for me? When y'all have a church and I wasn't here. Y'all hear me? I'm like, golly, I missed that. I missed that. So why? Because I love the experience. As I close, stop letting circumstances change the plans that God has given you. No weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. No weapon. So now, no matter what, I'm going down this road. God said, go to that door. I am not going to deviate. I am. You see, y'all don't understand. Y'all, the, 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 the most powerful weapon is not a gun. The most powerful weapon is what you lust for. You better hear the word of God. God. How about hear me? The, the, the enemy ain't coming with you with a gun because he know you're going to call on Jesus. He know he might die. But he's going to find out what you want. That's his most powerful weapon. What you lust for. So it might come in the form of a handsome man. It might come in the form of a beautiful woman. And that, and that right there would do, would do more damage than a gun. You know why? Because if the gun take me out, guess what? I was in a place of leaving in the hands of God. So I'm good. But if lust take me out, and I die in lust, now I'm going to have to stay here with Satan. So y'all sitting up there worried about the bullet instead of the lust. He ain't gonna shoot you while you clean because that he know he gonna he, 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 you can you're not gonna stay here with him. So he gonna bring something dirty you up and try and kill you while you're in your dirt. Oh, all right now, all right. Yeah. 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 He gonna bring something dirty you up. Come mm on. -hmm. And try and kill you. Cause you know what? <laughs> dirt remains with dirt. Yeah. 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 Dirt remains with dirt. He gotta, he gotta, he gotta take you back to where you came from. The dirt. Hello, somebody. Mm -hmm. And God said, I have elevated you beyond. The one who knows what he had planned for me before I was conceived. The one who knows where I'm going to go tomorrow. Word about the end. Because I told you as I close. Every day your goal should be. Your goal should be every night before you lay down. You should rehash your day. And you should, you should, if you rehash your day with love, loving the way you should love, you're going to get a well done daily. If you get a daily well done, you ain't worried about the family. Amen. 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 Mama told us before you go to bed, say your prayer. And the first prayer we prayed was, if I die. Oh, oh, I wait. Come on, somebody. The Lord, my soul to take. Don't forget where you came from. Don't forget where you came. The Lord's prayer wasn't your first prayer. What was the first prayer? Say it again. If I die, the oh, Lord, I wait. I pray the Lord, my soul to take. And I'm telling you right now, you are awake. You're not going to die because God has already taken your soul. You hear me? Yes, sir. Don't let nobody change that plan. plan. Don't let circumstances change that plan. If God has him.